In the meantime here, we've got this one for you. Take a look at this video. This is what people who live in Fort Mill, a certain neighborhood there, say that they are dealing with every time that there is a heavy rain. That is unbelievable. They are fed up, as you can imagine, so they decided to get McGinty to get some help moving forward here. So we want to send it out live to Bill right now. Bill, we were just talking about you. Glad you could clear up the Christmas card issue. Now you're on to this. Are they dealing with any other issues besides the flooding? Well, you know, Vanessa, this is one of those stories that I hope it's a conversation in progress between all the parties involved. It's a no brainer. Heavy rains can and often do sometimes cause flooding. The builder is not grading the lots in a way for the water to drain away. Cassandra Patterson says this is her view on her property and the view of many others. And she says the culprit isn't just the rain, it's the builder, Shea Holmes. She claims complaints are falling on deaf ears. It's just been a, a constant fight just to ask for what is right. Other neighbors likewise have written me with similar complaints. I actually had brought it up in the very beginning before we closed on the house that we, I was afraid of erosion as a result of the runoff. I took these complaints to Shea Homes and was told back in an email by John Shea over the course of several different emails that, quote, we have no outstanding drainage complaints at this time outside of Mrs. Patterson, which I addressed, and Mr. Friscaro, which we are working with and I believe will resolve amicably. But Patterson says that's not really true, and she's not satisfied. So what can you do when you can't get satisfaction? Outside of a lawsuit, what are your options? Tom Bartholomew of the Better Business Bureau says they're a pretty good option. Over 90% resolution rate for those types of complaints. Because the contractors, home builders, know that their reputation is at stake once BBB is involved. Because they don't want that negative complaint out there. They don't want that negative customer review. They don't want their rating uh, to be impacted. It's a cliche, I know, but time will tell if this problem is fixed once the whole neighborhood is built out. As a consumer, your best play, continue to document, take photos, email, and be that squeaky wheel. You know, Vanessa, I know I'm repeating myself here, but I, I just can't understate how important that last paragraph really is. Take the pictures, take the video. That way you're going to have something to present. In this case, it was a builder. So you're going to have something to present to them to say, look, this is a problem because they're not always there when the problem is occurring. So it's really important to document and keep all those emails. That is so true. I feel with any consumer issue, as you highlight time and time again for us, yeah, I can imagine they're super frustrated. So hopefully we'll get some resolutions here.